Welcome back everyone, I hope you're happy, healthy and well. Today we have another university video because I know my week in the life of a student living in Swansea was one of my most popular videos on my channel so I thought I'd address some of the common misconceptions about what it's really like to study in Wales. A lot of people have very different ideas of what Wales is actually like if they haven't been before and some of my family members have kind of no idea what Wales or Swansea in particular is actually like. Some of them think it's a, this kind of small washed up seaside village, some think it's this hustly bussy city and until you kind of come here and, and experience it for yourself I think it's hard to kind of understand exactly what it's like especially being a university student here so I thought in this video I would address all those misconceptions and tell you what it's really like to study in Wales at university so one of the first things people always ask me when I say I study in Wales is doesn't it always rain there and no surprisingly enough it doesn't I'd say actually since being at uni we've had as many if not more nice days than we have rainy days and that might be because I stay over the summer a lot of the time but yeah obviously the winter's gonna be gloomy and dull even though today is a bright blue sunshine day and it's November so it does rain but doesn't all of the UK rain at some point I mean <laughs> it's fine especially if you live in accommodation it's super super warm so that is just not ever an issue and there's so many other activities to do that are inside if you do want to do that on a rainy day but no it doesn't always rain in Wales so get that misconception out of your head it can be absolutely beautiful on the beaches and in the summer it can be absolutely scorching I always do find though it's maybe one or two degrees slightly cooler than in the middle of England but doesn't affect me one bit and if anything it's actually quite nice because it's not stifling hot in the summer and we do have the beaches to cool down in, and that's always worth the sacrifice of a few degrees so the second thing people always ask me is what do you even do in Wales is there anything to do do you get bored things like that and oh my gosh can I just tell you this that there is so much to do here and I live in quite a hustly bustly place at home close to London and I'd say there's more to do here than there is there and that's a huge statement obviously it depends loads on your personality and your interest interest and all sorts but there is so much to do here and it's kind of one of the reasons that I think I might be staying in Wales after I graduate too. So the first thing to do here is anything outdoors. We have climbing, we have surfing, we have hiking. There's actually something for everyone here. Even if you come to university and you're not an outdoorsy person, I promise you going to university in Wales will make you an outside person. I don't even know if you can hear me because obviously I have a waterfall behind me. But I just can't even describe the feeling of being out here. A moment of self-care, just being out in the wilderness. Highly recommend to anyone. It's lovely. You chill out on the beaches in September and October when it's still warm. And in June you have picnics outside and you go on hikes as a house and as a flat. And it's just, it's so enjoyable. I'm in Swansea here, but we have Bracken about an hour away. Snowdonia about three or four hours away. There's so much adventuring and hiking to do around here. It's incredible. We have the Gower 20 minutes away and that's world-class surfing. There's long, beautiful beaches. You could actually think you were somewhere completely different like Australia on the beaches here. They're that beautiful. Also, if you've never seen a waterfall, don't worry, because in Wales you'll definitely see a waterfall there's about three half an hour away from us here there's loads up north there's some more towards Cardiff there's so many waterfalls and whatever time of year put some boots on and you can always go explore a waterfall so that's it about the outdoors but if you're an indoor person don't worry at all there's so much to do inside too people either think that Wales is completely an outdoorsy person's place or a completely indoorsy person's place and I don't think people quite understand that there is something for each of those types of people so obviously I'm not speaking for the whole of Wales but in Swansea which isn't the biggest city obviously Cardiff is a lot bigger we still have a load of the things that most cities have we have two bowling alleys we have two cinemas we have a whole array of shops if you can't find what you're looking for in Swansea you drive an hour to Cardiff and you can find everything there there's even an Ikea there so if you're missing your meatballs pop there for a stock up but honestly there's loads of loads of retail therapy here there's lots of lovely small businesses there's restaurants we have markets there's lots of cafes oh and you can't forget the Welsh cake if you've never tried a Welsh cake you definitely need to try it it's like this thin pastry thing cake but it's really yummy and you put it in the toaster and you butter it up and it's always oh, so good nice it's got sultanas in it's just lovely so if you haven't tried one of those make sure you try one of those but we have lots of other restaurants and takeaways we have your dominoes if you're missing that we have all the things a student or just anyone would want out of a place so that's food and the indoor activities oh in Swansea as well we've got this exotic place where it's a big greenhouse and you can go in and there's 
lots of different animals and plants and that's really cool. There's also a pumpkin patch and festive reindeer place just half an hour away that you can also go and visit too if you're here. So that's all about the indoor activities and the outdoor activities. Another thing people often ask me is, but don't they just speak Welsh there? And yes, they do, but they also speak English. The majority of the time they speak English. I've never come across a language barrier or anything like that. I cannot speak Welsh. I can say maybe three words, but that does not stop me in any aspect of my life. All our university emails are in English first, then Welsh. The signs are in English and Welsh. And if anything, it just makes it more interesting. I love looking at an English word than a Welsh word and thinking, wow, that's a completely different word but it's really exciting and interesting and you've got that opportunity to learn a new language which is really cool and I personally live with a Welsh girl and she loves telling me all the Welsh words and the Welsh culture and I love being immersed in that and on top of my course I love learning about the culture of Wales and the history and the language I think it's a really cool thing to say I went to uni in a different country even though I'm only three hours from home so that's really really nice another common misconception is that we have to pay loads to cross the border and that is completely not true. There used to be a toll road on the Seven Bridge and it used to be a fiver to cross. Luckily, because all the money that they saved during that meant that the bridge could be paid off forever, meant that it was scrapped in my first year. So it is free to come to Wales. You don't need a passport, you don't need a visa, unless you're obviously from another country, but it, you just cross the border and you're in a different country and it's really, really cool and it's very beautiful and lovely. So that's another common misconception. You don't need to pay to come in or to go out of Wales. So another massive thing about living in Wales is they are rugby fanatics. I like watching rugby, but I'm not a huge diehard fan or anything. I don't follow along with it religiously, but I really enjoy being part of that community spirit and just the whole camaraderie around the rugby season is just so, so much fun. Anywhere you go, people are just so excited about it. So if you love rugby, Wales is definitely the place to live for you. So really randomly, people who haven't been to Wales also say to me, but they don't have pubs there like they have in England, right? And they, they have the same pubs they have here as they do in England. An English pub is the same as a Welsh pub. They are the same here as they are in England. There's absolutely no difference. They're just as cosy, just as fun. They sell the same drinks. If anything, in Swansea, in the pubs, they sell some really, really nice locally made beers and ales. So one of my favourite pubs ever here is one called The King's Head. It's in Langenna town, which is about 20 minutes from me and it's by one of the best surfing beaches and it's lovely to have a surf and then go there for a cold pint of locally made beer so that's absolutely lovely and yeah we do definitely have pubs here but don't worry if you're not a pub person because we have bars we have clubs we have all the things that every other place in England has so we have some really big clubs in town that's one of the things I love most about Swansea is it's big enough to have enough variety but it's small enough to know where you're going if that makes sense so we can go to a different place every night of the week if you want or you can just stay in the same place and get to know the bouncers and the bar stuff really well too so no we're not just dropped out in the middle of nowhere you'll have nothing to do there is so so much to do there's places to go things to do people to meet food to eat and it is an absolutely epic place living in Wales especially studying in Wales it's not in the middle of nowhere well you can be in the middle of nowhere if you want to be but in the absolute wilderness where I am is the perfect mix I can kind of drive 10 minutes out and be by the beaches I can drive half an hour out and be in the countryside I can go to hills waterfalls Brecon Snowdonia you can go up north and surf in Snowdonia we're an hour from Bristol here in Swansea so you can go to Bristol for a night out or a shopping trip it is just such an incredible place to live I absolutely love it I personally went to uni in the middle of England before and I can hand on heart say that I prefer this thousand percent over that there is so much to do there's something for everyone and even if you come here and don't think there's stuff to do you'll find stuff to do you'll meet friends with people and you'll you'll discover new interests you never even thought you had so that's what it's really like studying and living in wales and i know right now i sound like a salesman trying to sell you the idea of wales but it, it sells itself. Come for a day and see the beaches and the hills and you'll never want to leave. I know I don't. I thought I'd come to uni for three years then be straight back home but this place has got my heart. I want to stay. Might do a master's, might do a PhD. I just can't leave and I know that's so true for so many Swansea students. They end up doing an undergrad and then just don't want to leave and so do a master's and then they love the master's so much then they get a flat here and get a job here and people just love it. It's just such a lovely way of life. Prescriptions are free. The doctor service is so efficient there's so many positives to going to uni in Wales and if you haven't seen any of my other videos just know that the surfing is epic we've got the climbing hangar which is epic and there will be something for you we have a really cool crazy golf place in Swansea called Bunkers you can get drinks and play crazy golf with your friends 
we have lots of little kind of cool wine bars and bars we have one called flickering light in town which just has a little flickering light outside it and that's the only way you know it's there and there's just some really cool quirks about living in wales and i definitely would recommend you to consider either coming here as a student or living here permanently because it's just it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful and there isn't as much rain as people think <laughs> honestly so i hope you enjoyed that video of me talking about what it's really like to be in wales to live in wales to become a student here and if you've got any questions feel free to just drop me a message and ask and i will see you all soon <laughs> bye